gentlemen, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play episode number 21. If this were a person, it would be hammered right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're coming off a, uh, a very exciting weekend for Insert Coin. Uh, joining us this week, Bobby, Riz, and Cat. That's right. We once again are blessed with the female presence. So, Riz, I'm going to yes, ask you not to offend our female. Again? Again. Oh. Bobby. Yes. Keep it clean. I I'm clean. I thought you were going to say, right. Bobby, you can offend her. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Riz. What? Would you care to explain to our lovely audience why this is a very special edition? I don't know why you're yelling. Though. Riz got touched in a bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> they, someone spilled the pain on me when I was a child. Oh, man. I don't. <laughs> And we already earned the explicit tag. There's the explicit tag. <laughs> oh, man. Rated M for mature. I don't even but... know what's going on anymore. <laughs> October 20th. This is all messed up. <laughs> I thought this was about video games. I did, too. <laughs> this is about video games. And someone just earned an extra life. Anyways, speaking of extra life, uh, Kat, Bobby, and myself did a charity event for... There we go. For, for Extra Life, which is a donation-based thing where you just – like the donations go towards Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. Children's Hospitals of your choice. Uh, for me and Bobby, it was the UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Uh, for a cat, it was – what was it? Hershey. Penn State Hershey. Penn State Hershey. And – we donated, we started this program as, you know, hey, why not? This is going to be, this is going to be some fun. And then it started to grow and we're like, okay, let's keep going with this. And then all of a sudden we got a fan of the show or a fan of the, uh, of Insert Coin to begin uh, to join us. Granted, she wasn't on the actual uh, live stream, but. The fact she did donate around half of our earnings. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Anderson is probably one of the coolest people you ever meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she. Uh, the she, funny she thing. Blew us out the the funny thing about this is, uh, is, since I wasn't really involved, I've never really checked the totals. Um, mm -hmm. And then one day, I it was getting close to the deadline. And so I decided to use my Twitter followers to try to help you guys uh, reach your goals. And I go to check on the team page, and there's this name I've never seen before. And she's crushed all of you combined. I know. She's just all kinds of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all a combined. And uh, it was amazing. Uh, was... She's a Canadian robot. Hey, God <laughs> bless the Canucks. But it's a very polite robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very generous robot. Yeah. But, but yeah, it, hey. and on October 20th, the Saturday, I mean, last Saturday, we did sit down from 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Riz. For charity. And Would have been eight. And Riz had to work that day. Yeah. yeah I so, worked that day at eight o'clock. Yeah, Riz stayed up but, from seven till five. So, the next yeah. day. So he was really hardcore about it. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to go to work, and then I'm going to play games for 24 hours straight. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could never do that. You have that on me. Um, it, oh, trust, trust me, I barely did that. We yeah. stand by our recovery day yeah. on Chachi Plays. <laughs> yeah, when we do Chachi Plays, uh, we always take that Friday off. And, uh, and honestly, we're up at, still at a decent hour because... Uh, Unlike uh, Extra Life, there's a lot that goes into Chachi Plays. Mm -hmm. um, we have to load up the vehicles and drive everything down to where it goes. And there's a good two hours to set up. And then, like, you normally we have to go pick up beverages or the T-shirts or a, a little extra stuff like that. So, I mean, there's a good four or five hours of setup that even go into the event before I sit down and play for 24 hours. And Mike is always there with me the entire time mm. uh, at running the switcher and doing 
basically whatever I ask him to do. And, and last year, Riz was there for the majority of it. Yes, I was. No, I don't. I don't remember what time Riz showed up, but he was there oh. for ninety percent of it. Ninety percent of it. Yeah, I think. I thought, I thought you showed up Saturday morning. Did you? Yeah, I was at Saturday morning. I didn't say it. Old, but uh, I didn't say Friday. <laughs> it's a blur. Um, you got a Saturday. good ten hours in. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, and I so wait. the fact that I you think, I'm still waiting for my check, Chachi. <clears throat> you don't get a check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the monies went to the charity. I know. Um, I I don't get a check. You don't get a check. And since we didn't get a proclamation this year, you don't even get one of those. So uh, so either way, how how did you guys do? I don't think we we. The, um, can we say the number? We can say the number. Mm-hmm. We can say the number. We donated our our goal for charge for charge play, <laughs> for insert for the insert coin to begin team of extra life was five hundred dollars. Yeah. We donated one thousand. Fifty-two dollars. That's over two hundred and ten percent of our goal. Nice. And we ranked out of two thousand three hundred and eighty-six teams overall. We ranked three oh seven. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. And well, congratulations. You did, you did good. We did pretty good. All right. Well, before we return to uh, talk of extra life, eh, that's a lie. Um, no, we're, we're about to talk we're, about we're going to continue talking about extra life the the whole the whole episode. Um, I'm going to go first with this question since it's not going to take three hours. <laughs> um, but no, wait, wait, wait. I think Cat should start. I should start what? Oh, okay. Yeah, just looking at it. Um, and, and then I actually have a side question for her. Um, however, as in every episode, we start with the same question. Ah. And it is, uh, what did you play this week? And did you play the challenge? This week's p- challenge being uh, stick dive or some stick man dive. Stick um, dive. So, and, and because uh, Kat's list is going to be rather short from the looks of it. <laughs> Um, the cat, what did you play this weekend or this week? And did you play the challenge? I did not play the challenge. I actually forgot about it. I apologize. Oh, no. I did play Mass Effect 3, which was all I played this weekend. <laughs> and I even got back into Words with Friends. So let's let's, let's get that clear. You pay, played uh, Mass Effect 3 for 24 hours straight. 24 hours. It okay. Was, it was only the co op, and it was. All repetitive. I don't know what I was thinking, why I did it, but I did it for 24 hours. All right. Now, here's my question. As uh, being someone who has multiple times sat down to play video games for 24 hours straight in, for a charity setting, I could never in a billion years play the same game for 24 hours. Especially not NASCAR. Yeah, especially not NASCAR. Now... <laughs> How the, that is that is your next challenge. Uh, how the hell did you pull that off? I'm you know what? I still don't know how I did that and I was expecting by the end of the night, but luckily I didn't have the camera on me so you couldn't see how I was like all you know, zombified and everything <laughs> at the end. But <laughs> I I really don't know how I did it. I mean I was dozing off and I died a couple of times because I did, you know, I kinda fell asleep and I kinda got shot a few times. So. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I did it for twenty four hours, so I can I can say that. I don't know why I would say it, but you did it for the children. You did it. You did it for the kids. Now, giving uh, given the opportunity again, would you uh, play the same game for twenty four hours? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was it was way too repetitive, and Mass Effect Three co op is repetitive as it is, so it's just like. It's doing the same thing over and over, and I counted in. I kind of lost count, but um, I did around forty-eight rounds of the same game, forty-eight uh, rounds of co-op. 
So it's like a half hour per half hour thing. Per, yeah. yeah. So are you, is the same thing over and over again? Uh, uh, did you expect a different result each time? <laughs> no. No, I did not. I'm just, I'm just crazy. Uh, I'm yes, crazy. yeah, that is a def- definition of insanity. <laughs> <Yep. so. laughs> All right. Um, and, and now into the part that's going to take a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can go next, Chachi. Oh, uh, yeah, right. go ahead, Chachi. Um, I play. I started Dishonored this week. Um, right. It was everything that I expected it to be. Uh, although it is more difficult than I expected. <laughs> Um, it actually, it actually started, uh, pissing me off because, uh, as advertised in the game, you, uh, or in the, in the advertisements for the game that you can go through stealth or you can go through hack and slash, um, and the story differs and the difficulty differs, uh, per, uh, method of choosing. Now, what they failed to tell you is that if you go through hack and slash, not only do you have to deal with all of the evil people, but you will get attacked by swarms of rats, mm-hmm. and they will kill you. Rats are evil when I game. And it it started to to piss me off to the point where uh, now I I'm doing like this strange com uh, strange hybrid of uh, stealth and hack and slash just so I don't have to deal with rats. Um, but the storyline is beyond messed up at some points. Like, I, I was talking to, uh, one of the guys we work with on the weekend for, uh, wrestling filming, and I, I, I made the, and I made the comment that, uh, I wasn't high enough to play the game and understand uh, some of the storylines. Like, I really felt like I needed to be on some type of narcotic in order to fully get what was happening to me in the game. And I'm not advocating that you go out and do drugs. I'm drug free. You should be, too. Yeah. So. Um, but other than that, I, I uh, when we got home from filming wrestling, we hopped on and we played some hilarious rounds of Call of Duty with the guys. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> um the the conversations that they were having at that hour were just amusing beyond belief. Yeah. Um, but, oh, and I barely remember it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I did play the challenge. It's strangely addicting. And I beat uh, Jetpack Joyride. Yay! Right. Yeah. Yay. So, um, yeah, all in a week, by the way. Because it was released for Android last Tuesday. And so I, I played it all week, and I, I did everything you can do. Was it a joyride? Yeah, it was a joyride. The Sorg, uh, jetpack. Sorg is behind there motioning. I actually, I played, I played some video games. I uh, dove back into Assassin's Creed 2. I'd only played about a half an hour of it originally, and I just wasn't into it when we first got it. Um, and it kind of in anticipation of, like, Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, yeah, but it just you know felt like that's the kind of thing I wanted to get into. Also, uh, uh, of course, I've been playing Bad Piggies, Angry Bird Space, as usual. Uh, got back into Doom Resurrection, which is like kind of the Doom Three ish thing for iPhone, and also picked up Carmageddon for the iPhone. It's two bucks. It's on iPhone and Android. If you're on the iPhone side, it actually will cloud sync your save game across an iPad and iPhone or whatever mm-hmm. you have. Uh, worth it, considering I had the original game and I needed like a DOS boot disk to play it. It's kind of nice. Um, they did have a thing where your save game would disappear, but they just put out a bug fix like yesterday that fixes that, and it even recovered my save game that disappeared. So, oh, nice. So uh, worth it if you haven't played Carmageddon. <laughs> it's just nice. It's it's nice to just run over people sometimes, and now you can do it in line at the bank. <laughs> um, don't put the sound on. I'm pretty sure they'll arrest you. All right, back to you, Chach. All right, now. These lists are going to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm going to need you guys to go through them quickly with absolutely no no explanation. We'll get the idea. Okay. I wanted to have explanations. Shut up. Riz, what did you play this week? Mass Effect 3, Max Payne 3, FIFA 2013, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, Sonic 1 through 3, Streets of Rage 1 through 3, Altered Beast, Altered Beast Arcade, Kid Chameleon, Echo the Dolphin, Echo the Dolphin, Ties in Time, 
Robot Unicorn Attack Evolution. I transform into dragon. No, Colin, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Gain Ground, Comic Zone, Modern Warfare 3, Deadliest Warrior, Deadliest Warrior Legends, and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Wow. Yay. All right, Bobby. No I explanations. Week, by the way. What? I did play the challenge this week, by the way. Okay, fantastic. It was very addictive. <laughs> what else did you play? Uh, not much and no, else. I didn't. Uh, let me see. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, TMNT, the arcade game for Nintendo, uh, Master Blaster, Legend of Zelda, Naughty Bear, uh, Paradise, I forget what the name of it, the rest of it is, Mega you Man don't. 10, which I beat, Sonic Generations, Batman Arkham City, Super Street Fighter 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Destruction Derby, Retro City Rampage, Pokemon Black, Dishonored, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, Pac-Man Championship Edition, Peggle, Burnout Paradise, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Skyrim, Red Dead Redemption, Uncharted, GTA Vice City, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, NHL 2012, and Borderlands 2. Holy shit. Yeah. 30 games, in, or 31 games, I think, in 24 hours. Holy shit. <laughs> Why? Because it was fun. It's for the kids. It's for kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. 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 Right. Sure. You just call me a jerk. Yes, I and, and Chachi. Uh, uh, Dis- Dishonored. <laughs> nice. I played oh, it forgot. like yeah. in the middle of the night. Like th- it's my middle game, and I was like, "Wow, this game is is good," but I want to play it tomorrow when I have chance to <laughs> sit down and play it. <laughs> did you play but, video games the next day too? Yeah, I did. What? I was off on Monday, and I played Borderlands Two and Dishonored. <laughs> You are a machine. I saw him and I said, what are you doing online? Go to sleep. Yeah, I, I wanted it to play Borderlands when I actually knew what I was doing. I was, I haven't you, should have, touched, you should have seen me. I was playing Borderlands 2 and I kept getting lost. And my Borderlands 2 thing was like circling around trying to find one area. I say, I, I pick up my save game the next day and I go right to the place where it was. <laughs> I haven't I was, touched my Xbox unless I'm watching Netflix and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Netflix was down on Monday. Power Rangers. Yeah, that's what I played this week. Okay. okay um, well, moving right along. Um, well, because of the discussions, we only have time for uh, one more question. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... Um, Kat, you have the, the notes up, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do ladies' choice. Um, pick one, and that's the one we'll do. Um, I guess best trailer sounds good to me. All right. Where is it? I can't find it. Bobby. Second question. Oh, I found it. Bobby. Yes. Bobby. Yes. What's uh, your uh, your favorite game trailer? Best trailer. My favorite game trailer. Uh, the reason the reason I wrote this question. Um, did anybody see the new commercial for the PlayStation All Stars fighting game? No. no. Um, it's a really good commercial. Yes. It actually made me think about possibly getting this game. Um, it was Nathan Drake versus uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, can't think of his name. Uh, Kratos versus Sackboy versus <laughs> like live action. It was a really neat trailer. Um, I, I recommend you check it out. Um, but the two that I was thinking of is the Skyrim live action commercial they put out right before the game was released with like live action dragon. I got goosebumps watching that the first time. And the other one was Borderlands 2, uh, the launch date Wub Wub trailer. <laughs> wub, wub, wub. Wub, wub, wub Wub. Yeah. So those were my two I picked. All right, Riz. Uh, the one game that I never thought I'd say I was going to purchase because of a trailer was uh, Hitman Absolution. That The first trailer that they had out for the Meet Agent 47 was outstanding and awesome, and it was gameplay footage. It wasn't cutscenes, it wasn't live action, it was gameplay, and that's really what I like about trailers. Well, honestly, like, uh, the Hitman trailers are normally extremely good. Yeah. Uh, as far as it goes to... Uh, so, it made me want to buy that game. Nice. Uh, Kat? 
Dragon Age 2. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of jumped onto the Dragon Age bandwagon late, so, but um, once I saw the trailer, I just thought it was awesome, amazing, and it made me want to buy Dragon Age Origins and 2 because I feel kind of weird about playing a sequel without playing the original beforehand, mm-hmm. but um, since I got that, Dragon Age Origins is one of my all-time favorite games, so... Dragon Age 2 is probably the best trailer I've seen since it got me into playing Dragon Age Origins. Alright, um... I would have to say either those, uh... those WoW commercials where they had, like, Mr. T or Chuck Norris. Um, (laughs) those prompted me to really get back into playing uh, Warcraft. Um, other than that, I'm digging what they did with the the assassin's creed 3 trailers yeah. and uh, uh yeah. commercials for that um except for p diddy it, well no even that part like i don't have a problem with that part of the trailer either or the commercial. American revolution like p diddy um but uh <laughs> i i get really excited uh, when when seeing <laughs> something for that game in case you haven't picked up on it um so yeah uh, next tuesday i'm uh, after i leave here from the shows i'll be dead to the world <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be in my recliner, uh, playing Assassin's Creed Three with the powdered wig. No, what I didn't. I can't find the powdered I, wig. Behind you, no, like an hat. American hood. What? Chachi, go to get a Union <laughs> uh, Jack but, uh, at uh, Ligonier, Ligon, Fort Ligonier. Uh, all right. Well, as the saying goes, time flies when you are having fun, and we are out of it. Hey, what's the challenge for this week? Do we have um. One? Don't die. To play 24 Get hours some of video sleep. games straight. Get some yeah, sleep. <laughs> no, this week's challenge is to get some sleep. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, did plenty of work over the weekend. And yeah, you deserve a round of applause. Yeah. Especially Cat for playing one game. Yeah. <laughs> one game. Um, you. Uh, you have been listening to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play Extra Life Edition. Uh... I am Chachi Says on Twitter, at Chachi Says, at Bobby F. J. Town, at Riz IUP. I don't know which one she wants to give you, so I'll let her say it. Um, I guess Commander Cat, Snarky Tech, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I have Snarky Tech on her thing. Well, I, I have both. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, uh, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter at Insert Coin TV. Uh, we are on Insert Coin to Begin dot com daily with gaming news for gamers, by gamers, in gamers, on gamers, gamers with socks, gamers in a box. Gamers with foxes. Yeah, foxes. foxes. Um, and we are gamers on Google on Plus. We do respond to your messages if you send them to us. So, yeah. For the Insert Coin to Begin Extra Life team, I am Chachi says, and we'll see you next week.